For most people, Bitwarden is primarily used to house login credentials, which means usernames and passwords. But this open source password manager is capable of much more. Case in point, identities. Identities are just what they sound like, a way of saving information about a contact. But why not just save that information in your standard contact application? Almost every operating system has a contact app, all of which are very easy to use. But what if you need to save sensitive information for a contact? You might have to save such information as social security number, passport number, license number, and other types of data that you wouldn't want getting into the hands of a ne'er-do-well who could use that information against you or someone else. With that in mind, let's find out how easy it is to create an identity in Bitwarden. I'll demonstrate with the desktop app because it's my go-to for using Bitwarden. Open the app and click plus to create a new vault item. In the resulting entry, select identity from the type dropdown. Fill out all the necessary information for the identity, making sure to add as much detail as needed. You'll note that you can also enable the master password reprompt. The only caveat to that is it will not apply to the standard fields, such as social security, password, and license number. If you want to hide those items behind the password reprompt, you could also create custom fields of the hidden type. So when anyone attempts to view those bits of information, they'll have to first type the master password for the vault. Identities are a great way to house information about clients, customers, or other contacts that you might not want to house in a standard contact app.